This is going to be an update video to see how these batteries are recovering as well as some of the fancy electronics that I'm using to help me do that. So here we go. These batteries are out of a Smart for Two electric car. They're a 17.6 kilowatt hour battery pack, but unfortunately when I bought these and took the cover off, I found that they were dead. There was just 10 volts per module, so 30 volts for the pack. I didn't know if I'd be able to do anything with them. For the last two weeks, I've had these on some really small trickle chargers. They're actually DC to DC buck converters and boost converter. I've been using both and I've been trying to recover some of these cells. This is one of the three modules that came out of the Smart for Two car. It was about 10 volts when we started, but there was a couple of cells right here, I wrote down which ones, that were at zero volts. And these might be completely bad. The rest of them actually seem like they're recovering fairly well. And first, let me show you what the entire pack is sitting here at. So all the way from one side to the other, We've got almost 105 volts. I've been rotating these batteries around on my chargers, starting at 0.05 amps, and then eventually 0.1 amps. Uh, I took these off the chargers two days ago to let them sit because a couple of cells are self-discharging. So if we take a look at just this cell back here, we can see 3.47. So this one's doing pretty good. This particular one I'm fairly sure is bad. This is at this started at zero volts, and then after I charged it, it was also at zero volts. Uh, it did not accept the charge, and if we look at it now, it's still at zero volts. Now this other one right here next to it, this started at zero volts, but it accepted a charge at 3.46 volts when I took it off the charger. So let's see if it has held the voltage or not. 3.31. So that tells me that it's self-discharging more than the other cells. So that's kind of been my process for looking at the cells and determining which ones are still good, which ones aren't. Because I need to cut out any cells that are bad. I don't want them in the pack. Let's look at the chargers I'm using. Both of these are DC to DC converters and both are hooked up to my battery bank, which is currently sitting at 48.52 volts. So they're going to change it from 48 volts to something else. This one will step it down, all the way down to zero volts. This one will step it up, all the way up to 120 volts. So with the two, this guy I can use on an individual cell, say at 3.7 volts, uh, or a small group of cells. And this one I can do the whole series pack together. Now something that I just got in the mail. I actually ordered this two months ago uh, from China and it finally came in. This is an equalizer board and it doesn't work the same way as most BMS's. So a lot of BMS's like this guy will have a tiny resistor built in. This particular one has resistors that are 0.05 amps or 50 milliamps. This one will equalize at a rate of one amp which is more powerful than this, but and instead of burning off the electricity just as heat, it will move electricity from one cell to the next. So we're gonna try hooking this up today and see how well it works. Okay, so we're gonna begin the test and I just checked every cell. And as you can see, they're actually really well balanced, relatively speaking, considering that I have not done any form of balancing yet on these cells. And so that's pretty good news. So here's the wiring harness. I just tinned all these leads. The main negative needs to come over. To this point, this is the negative of this cell. And so somehow I've got to stick this on here. 
So all I'm doing is I'm using this flathead screwdriver and I'm pushing the tab slightly just enough so I can get enough space to get the tip of that wire in and then the tab is applying some pressure to hold that wire. Well that worked really well. I need the ability to move this around. This equalizer board is supposed to be able to pull its power from these leads and it doesn't need any external power supply, uh, so I've read, but you know, we'll see if that works out. At first this was not working and I finally got it to go. I tried doing it just with the one wiring harness, it did not turn on, so I hooked up the second wiring harness and now it is uh, working. But I didn't expect that because the, uh, the advertisement for this thing specifically said 12 to 24 cells. And I uh, emailed the manufacturer before buying this and asked them could it work with a 12S configuration uh, so that I could use it with my Chevy Volt. And they specifically said yes. So I don't know why I needed to hook up all of them. Maybe I need to start with the positive over here, but that doesn't seem to make sense to me. I'm not sure, but I got blinky lights now, so that should help. Great. So I'm guessing the red is the low and then the blue is the high. All right, so I'm not seeing any amps actually moving. I don't know why this is timing out or something. So it's waiting? Maybe I'm supposed to turn it on? It almost looks like there's a little switch up there. What if I go like that? Does that mean it's starting to balance? What is that? There we go. A little bit over one amp balancing right now. I've currently got the amp clamp on the lowest cell. It's charging the capacitor right now. Charging, so it's drawing from the highest cell, which I think right now it's on cell five or cell nine. It seems to be bouncing between those two. But it's charging, oh, and now it's discharging. Check that out. So the amps just went up, and now it's putting the electricity into the lowest cell. And it's dropping the voltage in the capacitor. This is a before and after screenshot of my phone uh, showing that it took eight hours to equalize all the cells and they are now equal to within four millivolts. So I think that's pretty awesome. So this is the process I'm going to use to equalize all the voltages across the cells. But as you can see, they're not actually that bad. Even though they all went down close to zero, uh, they've come back up fairly evenly. And I think that's a really good sign. This is my sigh of relief moment that I'm going to be able to salvage most of this pack. So thank you very much for watching guys and if you enjoy the video please like, subscribe, comment, and share.